All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. And I'm here to take a look at a brand new clip for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And this is the Battles Gargantos. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, clip. So he fights Gargantos, which is the squid monster thing, um, which uh, I'm sure is a thing from the comics. Again, I don't read the comics, but uh, we've, we've seen it a lot in the uh, trailers or trail no there's two trailers technically we had a teaser that was at the end of spider-man and then you had a full official trailer i'm actually surprised we haven't had a final trailer but i'm assuming that's going to be probably early next week just leading up to the release you know we'll have like a quick final trailer because usually i feel like disney usually does a final trailer you know they always label it as final trailer but maybe i'm wrong uh i don't know even spider-man had a final trailer yeah i know eternals definitely did i think black widow also did but um anyway let's get to it let's go a whole clip i don't think we're i don't think i'm getting this i'm I'm not i'm not hyping this up enough we got a whole clip this whole minute <laughs> there you go is that hype enough anyway let's go <laughs> i am excited for the movie i already got my tickets for thursday uh 320 so obviously next thursday not today i wish anyway let's go three two one and play Oh man, I love Doctor Strange stuff. So. Whoa! I mean, his magic, not just him being there. I do love that too. Oh, nice! My, my brush. <laughs> I like this brush, it's mine. No. Oh no! <laughs> his reaction, I love it. Oh! Oh, okay. He, he wants her. America Chavez, that's her. Yeah, yo, the unsung hero. I I kind of hey, I like that. That's, I, see, I love Doctor Strange stuff. Just like, uh. oh, I should bust off. Thank God there was nobody there. I don't know why they would be there though. That would be their own fault. All right. Yeah, that's cool. See, I love Doctor Strange stuff like that. He took the bus apart and then brought it back together to trap him. It's so good. It's so good. See, that's why that's why I love, man. It's so inventive. Like, that's the one thing I I find a little boring with other Marvel characters is that like, oh, they they beat up them. <laughs> you know, the villain. That's it. You know, like, oh, you shoot them, you beat them up with a, a punch or a hammer or whatever or whatever. Um uh shield whatnot okay, don't get me wrong all that stuff is cool and they could do a lot of really cool things with it but uh dr strange you could do a lot of really cool things that are like extremely inventive and it's almost like it's easy to do that stuff too like it's 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 easy to be able to come up with ideas for dr strange because you can go nuts with it um and i, I for me going nuts is easy so <laughs> watch out uh, i actually kind of want to watch it again let's watch the club one more time just one more time Okay, so uh, Gargantos, if I'm pronouncing it right, I'm probably not, um, is going after her. Is it because she can manipulate portal or open portals and stuff? I do. I, I kind of like that the special effects are a little cartoony. Is it just me? Like, I, I, I for Doctor Strange, I find that more appealing because it's always so wacky with its visuals anyway. Whenever Doctor Strange is doing something. Uh, not maybe not wacky that's not the right word but like a little bit more out yeah surreal um obviously and a little bit less human i mean uh um it's always otherworldly so when everything's like when, it, when this this cartoon bus shows up because the bus doesn't look great um and then this the fucking tentacle monster uh dungeons and dragons looking thing comes out of nowhere Ooh. Dude, oh my god, I didn't even think about it because Sam Raimi's directed it. We're gonna get so many We're gonna get so many really funny um uh, uh reaction shots. That's what some of my favorite stuff in, in Sam Raimi movies, especially Spider-Man, uh the Spider-Man movies is the, the reaction shots for just random people. I mean none of these are amazing, but I hope we get some really good ones. Like I just wanna see a close-up of someone going, ah, <laughs> Dude, uh, 
I love the reaction of Gargantua. So he's like, what the fuck? Oh, wait, we got one there. I didn't even notice it. Wow. <laughs> it, was a... <laughs> it was an extreme close up. It was pretty good. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Got your little tentacle. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Unsung hero. I like he cuts off one of his tentacles and then fucking closes the other one in. There you go. And he didn't even, he didn't even move from a spot. He cut one of those tentacles off and then trapped another one. What's up, bitch? Here you go. Here's the, the bus. For your ass. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm excited. Yeah, I know a lot of people are excited about that movie because there's a lot of rumors about like a bunch of stuff being in it. You know, I don't even want to get into it. But um, honestly, I'm just excited to see Sam Raimi direct the Doctor Strange movie. That's all. That's really all I want. I just want some weird shit, man. Because yeah, at the end of the day, the references are cool and the the things here and there. You're like, oh, Professor X is going to be in it, and, and possibly all these other people. I don't even want to get into. But um. That's really cool. Don't get me wrong. I love that. That'd be fun. But at the end of the day, if a movie doesn't have uh, the visuals and the storytelling and the characters and the writing that it needs, then it's not going to be as memorable. Uh, that's what I loved about Spider-Man No Way Home is that it didn't rely on, you know, um, I mean, at this point, everybody knows, but just in case there's one person, but, um, which me just saying that is a spoiler anyway, so I might as well just say it, but, uh, it didn't rely on that. Like, you don't even get that until, like, an hour and a half into the movie. So, maybe even longer. So, it, it does a great job of building up to that reveal, but not just feeling like a build-up. It's, it's, there's, there's a story, there's characters, there's great moments. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's, like, a mo like, really one of my favorite parts of that movie, and one of my favorite parts to even watch reactions for now is, is, I won't spoil it, but there's a, there's a death in it there's a de there's a death in it that i thought was very well done and very well acted and that's probably my favorite saying that's my favorite part is weird like oh loved it oh because <laughs> everybody talks about that movie like oh boy and don't get me wrong that's that that stuff the, the cameos obviously uh are my favorite things but one of my favorite things to watch reactions to is that because it's actually really well done and the acting was really good in it so i don't know and the ending, too. I love watching people react to the ending with them. Yeah. I, again, I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I'm sure everybody watch it. It, it made, like, what? $1.8 billion in COVID times, which is crazy. Uh, I think it's still in the top 10 of, like, box office, too. So people are still watching it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, that was Doctor Strange uh, in the Multiverse of Madness. That was the Battles Gargantos clip. Uh, that was fun. I like it. I like it. Sam Raimi. You you the best. You the best. I love you. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.